can't only address it when it leads to a crime. A week after the deadly attack that took the lives of four members of this Muslim family in London, Ontario, the calls to action have not stopped. On Friday, Parliament responded. The House call on the federal government to convene an emergency national action summit on Islamophobia. Accordingly, the motion's carried. Something the community wanted. I want to call for an immediate action a national action summit on Islamophobia where leaders come together to take immediate action on dismantling both violent forms of Islamophobia and systemic Islamophobia. So what could that look like? After a deadly rampage through two New Zealand mosques in 2019 killed 51, a royal inquiry made dozens of recommendations, including creating a new national security agency and plans for the police to better identify and respond to hate crimes. This Canadian advocate says he wants the same level of commitment here. We cannot, we cannot allow the situation to keep going. Just not accept. I can't keep meeting families. Canadians can't keep seeing coffins. Uh, this needs to change. It's not about my frustration or the Canadian Muslim community's frustration. This is about basic human decency. The federal government has already promised the bill to address online hate is on the way. And back in February, it added some far-right groups to a terror list. Ottawa says it will gather more ideas at the summit. What our government is going to do is actually work in partnership with Muslim leadership, make sure it is led by community to ensure that the government is not only responding, but proactive to the needs of the community. Ottawa is committing to holding the summit before the end of summer and says it will send out invitations to all levels of government as well. Rafi Bujikani, CBC News, Ottawa.